Congratulations, you may have just picked up a Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 or a Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. And I'll go and show you exactly how to set up and use this specific watch. Now, the setup process is very easy. You just go ahead and make your way over to your Samsung Galaxy phone. You open up the Wear Watch application. So you can just go inside of your Samsung phone, find the Samsung wearable application right there. Go ahead and open it up and you can easily go ahead and set up your watch by using this specific device. Now, I'm assuming you already have it set up and at the watch itself, it's very interesting. So you have two different sizes. You either have the 40 millimeter size or you have the 44 millimeter size. And this specific one is the 41. Now, looking around the watch itself, you have the display, it's touch screen, you can tap on it. It also has a sensor so you can look at it and look away from it and it'll go ahead and turn on. Now on the top, you have your band. On the bottom, you have your band as well. On the left side of the watch, there's really nothing there. It's just empty spot. It feels very premium though. It's a very premium feeling watch. On the right side, we do have two different buttons. So we have the top one, which pretty much acts like a power button of sorts. So you can tap on it. You can, you know, go around with it. You can also, you know, hold down on it to power off and restart your watch as well. So there's a couple of different things we have with this specific button. Now on the bottom, this can double as a back button. It can also double as Samsung Pay or Samsung, you know, wearable or Samsung Pay if you have that set up as well. So that is a really cool button. And on the back, we have our little charging block. Now, if you have a Samsung phone, if you're lucky enough, and if you have reverse wireless charging on that phone that's supported, you can actually put your specific watch on the back of your specific device, and you should be able to charge it. Now, in some cases, like I said, I guess it just depends where you put it, and you do have to have it enabled. But that is a really cool feature that we have on our Samsung phones if you have it you know, connected to a Samsung device. Now, starting off from the top, we have our watch face. So you can go ahead and choose different watch faces if you want to, which we'll get into in a second. And if you go and swipe down from the top, you'll basically get into your quick toggle settings. So here, what you can do is you can see a quick little breakdown of your battery life. On this side, you can see a few different options. So you can always, like I said before, it's a touch screen. So you can swipe between different panels here, which is really cool. You have a power button here. You can quickly get into your settings icon. You have do not disturb. You have this little vibration one. You can swipe through. You can enable a flashlight. You can change the brightness within your specific watch. You have a low power mode. You have your Wi-Fi connection here. Swiping back out again, you have airplane mode and a few other toggles, including location here as well, which is really cool. So you can swipe through here. Now, like I said before, one of these buttons is the home button and power button. So if you click on this button, it usually will take you here. But what you can also do is click on this bottom, bottom button and it's almost like a back button of some sorts. Now on the left side, sometimes you may see a little dot or a little indicator that basically tells you that there's a notification. So what you can do is you can swipe to the side and you can actually get into those notifications. Now that specific notification is a little personal, but you can always swipe to the side and see your notifications. Now at the bottom, sometimes there may be little notifications too. So you can swipe up from the bottom and you'll basically be able to see all of your applications within your watch. Now these can range from all the applications you have installed on your phone that are supported on your watch that you've installed previously, or just other ones that you have on your watch. So you can always scroll through here and see all sorts of different applications that are available. Now some of the main ones I want to go and break down, basically you have the phone calls, messaging that's you know, transported from your phone as well. You have the Play Store built into your Samsung watch. So if you ever want to download any types of applications or anything that you see cool online, you can always download apps on onto your Samsung watch by going straight into your you know, Play Store. So here it gives you a little breakdown. You can click next, you can continue to keep clicking next, so on and so forth. And it tells you how to Google account, but you can essentially go and break it down here too, which is so cool. Now hopping back out, we can go and swipe back up here. And another application I want you to kind of be aware of is the settings application. So we can click on the settings just like here. Now, like I said before, it's, you know, you can go and scroll through here. If you've used your Samsung phone, it's very similar to that, as you can see. So what you can do is you can just basically scroll through and what I would recommend doing is every once in a while scrolling all the way down to your little software update panel, which is right here, clicking on software update and just seeing if there's an update available for your watch. Now, if there is, I would highly recommend updating your watch. If there isn't, there probably isn't going to be anything that's shown to you. As you can see, it's glitching out a little bit, but I would recommend updating your watch. And that's pretty much another thing I'd recommend doing. Now, let's say we were in this tips and tutorials little thing, little panel, right? And you wanted to go back. Well, if you click this back button, like I mentioned, it's going to take you to the back panel. So it's the bottom button. The top button will basically bring you home. So that is basically that. Now, another cool thing that we have is and we've pretty much discovered every circular portion. So we've done the top, the left side, and the bottom side. But well, what's on the right side? Well, if we swipe to this side, you'll see we have these different types of applications and different pages that we can have associated with our specific watch. So here we can quickly scroll through and see a ton of different options. So we can see this little you know, heart monitor thing, which is really cool. Swipe to the side, we can see more, you know, 
walking, running, if we're exercising, we want to count it to our, app, our Samsung watch, we can do it here. So I think through, we can see our body composition, our sleep schedule, our, you know, continue on our weather, our calendar. There's so many other things here, and it's really awesome. So what I would recommend, and you can always, so, you know, add in different tiles as well. So you can click here. You can add more tiles if you want to, which is really cool. So this is another thing I'd recommend doing. Going through here, finding which, you know, tiles you like, and you can always add them. Let's say I want to add this one. Let's say I want to add, you know, another one. I can click here. I can add this one, click on it, and it should be added by clicking on it, and it will be added eventually. So this is a really cool thing that a lot of people who use Samsung watches use. And on some other watches that I own, I wish I had this type of capability as well because it's really, really cool. Now, if you want to go back home, you can click home, and we will come back here. Now, on our watch face itself, this is actually changeable. So let's say you get your watch and you're like, man, I really don't like how my watch face looks. Well, you can always customize it. What you can do is hold down on the watch face like this and you can basically get into this panel. I don't know why that keeps happening. You can get into this panel. And what you can do here is you can choose different watch faces by scrolling through to the side and adding different ones. Or what you can do, and I totally messed that up. Again, we hold it down here. Or what you can do is you can customize the current watch face that you have. So what you can do is you can click customize and what you can do here is you can change all sorts of different things within this watch. You can change the coloring of certain things. You can change on the left side right here. You can change, you know, if you want it pink, if you want it whatever color, you can choose different ones here. You can also change the dial color here. I mean, there's so many other things you can do and just change with, which is really cool. If you're ready, you can hop back out by clicking the back button and you can always, you know, add different, as you can see it updated. You can always swipe to the side and add more watch faces as well. What we can do is we can go ahead and add different watch faces. So let's say we don't like any of these ones, but let's say, man, this watch face looks so good, I want it. Well, what you can do is you can click on the watch face like this, and now your watch face that you currently used will now be replaced with this one. So now if we go and click the home button again, which is the top one, you'll see our watch face has now changed to this one. A quick little thing I also want to demonstrate is if you ever want to turn off your watch face without having to look away from it or anything, what you can always do is pretty much just look away from it and it'll go ahead and turn off. Now, if you look closely, you can see the watch face is turned off. As soon as I look back on it, you'll see it turns on. So if you ever want to turn it off, you can always just look to the side. That's another really cool thing. Now, again, if you want to change it, you hold it down. You click customize if you want to change the actual watch face or if you want to change the full on watch face, you can change it there too. Now, another thing I want to go and show you guys again is if you want to power down your, you know, Samsung watch and if you want to power it on. So in this case, if you swipe down from the top, you'll see that power button that we talked about earlier. So if you want to go ahead and power down your watch, you can click on this little button and you can turn off your watch by clicking on the turn off button. So here what we can do is we can turn off our watch and this is really easy to do. I mean, we just now have turned off our watch. It's going to vibrate maybe once or twice, usually once, and that is it. Now, if you want to turn your watch back on, Again, you hold down the button, the top button right here, you hold it down and you should be able to see that Samsung logo pop up and that is it. Your Samsung watch is now going to turn on and you are pretty much good to go. Now, some other things I'd recommend doing and kind of avoiding is if you're trying to go ahead and put your watch around water all the time, I'd probably recommend avoiding that. If you're trying to, if you're around like things like sand or you're planning on bashing it around a little bit playing sports, you may want to also see if you can get a screen protector on your watch. That's another thing. I've never broken any of the watches I've ever had, but I'm also not like a super active person. So if you're always around, it's things like rocks and bricks that can really scratch up these displays. If it's like grass or maybe like things like that, wood, it's not going to matter. Like I said, if you're around cement, concrete, bricks, that those type of things, they can shatter these displays so easily. So those are a few things to kind of look out for. And that is pretty much how to use your Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 or 5 Pro. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.